here we go, New Year's Eve. Uh, it's a Saturday. It doesn't even feel like a Saturday because uh, we only had three days off. We uh, traded five days over the Christmas period. I didn't film all of it. it just, uh, it's just too much. But uh, yeah, back at it. And um, not, not the biggest market we can have, but uh, a lot of people are choosing to um, take this weekend off and enjoy New Year's and good on them. Can't blame them for that. But uh, yeah, gonna show you some uh, some more newbies. We've got more still. Yeah, I, what I did was um, had so many regulars away, I opened it up to uh, all the people on the standby list, which has grown to about 50. So yeah, we're gonna chat to a couple of them. And the sun's coming out once again. Thank you. Welcome to Manly Markets 2095. Manly is the first beach north of Sydney Harbour and can easily be reached by ferry, car or bus. My name is Mark and I've been running the Manly Markets for 10 years now and I have over 30 years retail experience in the surf industry, which has really helped me understand the markets business overall. Each week I'm going to show you all around our markets including how we run them, introduce our storeholders, show you around Manly and interview some locals along the way. Please subscribe and enjoy our weekly shows every Friday. Yeah, I really like how our market is never looks the same, you know, it's always got a new storeholder, people filling in and people joining the markets, yeah, so it's so nice that it keeps it interesting and uh, yeah, so ever in the Manly area, just always come visit the market, it's always different. Hey Asaf, how are you? Very good. I've come to talk to you about your terrariums. Um, I bought one. Terrariums. Terrariums, that's right. There you go, teaching me already. So uh, tell us about them and uh, yeah. So it's very, very similar. What I'm doing is very similar to the Japanese art, which is the uh, wabikuza. The wabikuza means, uh, in, in rough translation, uh, in Japanese it means uh, whatever you can find in nature. I go out in nature and I collect different things that inspire me. Different pieces, whether it's wood, plants and different things. And mosses, a lot of mosses as well. Um, and they inspire me and make me create something uh, very similar to the piece uh, I sold to you. Uh, yeah, I have one. I have one. I fell in love with it. It's the, look at them. They're just fantastic. Um, so you got two types, right? Uh, there's there's a few more than two types. Uh, one is uh, a paludarium, which is uh, half terrestrial and half aquatic. Um, I introduce the water down below, um, and and it creates kind of a balance. It, it feeds with moisture upwards, and these plants love the love their roots to be in the water. So once it grows, it will be really really happy to get to the water and live there. Um, with the um, with these ones, basically uh, terrariums. There's no water there. Um, it's an open system, but I don't believe in a fully closed system, an open system. If you put your camera on this one, if I keep this all the time closed, it's a closed system. Where whereas there's a lot of moisture build up, and you need to use a lot less water to keep the plants happy inside. The reason I don't believe in it is because it, I believe that it needs oxygen and fresh air. Uh, 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 basically, um, uh, to live happily free of parasites and, and, and free of mold. Uh, and so with these, sometimes I would recommend to cover them, and sometimes I would, uh, I would have them open and fill them. Uh, each one of these are really, I cannot make it the same one twice. So it could be a certain style that I make twice and repeat myself in terms of style, but like, uh, okay, this one is uh, a paladarium and this one's paladarium, but you can see very clearly that they're far away, they're walled apart. Yeah, good variety. In, in terms of the way they look. Um, is there anything else you wanted to know? Ah, there's oh. shrimp tanks, there's aquariums in Yeah, here. these are full of water, aren't they? And they are basically, um, they have a little community of about eight uh, dwarf shrimp. I don't know if you can see that. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's like about the size of uh, 15 millimeters. They grow up to about 
uh, 20 25 millimeters and they live for about two years and they need no feeding i create a, a, a fully self-sufficient yeah an environment. how cool is that yeah, yeah. A self-reliant uh, uh, ecosystem that they can live in. They don't need feeding. Since the day I put them in there, I haven't fed them, and they will not need feeding. The only need, the only need is to freshen the water up once a week. Yeah, Take a couple right. Of cups of water, put mineral water in that. Right. Thanks well, uh, Dan, you got some sculptures. Yeah, you're doing that as well. Wow. And you're and, from Israel, and right? Sculptures, yes. How long have you been in Australia? Uh, over. Over a period of 30 years, but 20 oh, right, years. Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, 20 okay. years over a period of 30 All right, years. and this is uh, the first time you've been doing markets, or you've been doing them before? Uh, I've done markets, mainly is the second market I'm doing. Yes. Uh, I like mainly, I thought I'd come in. Oh, and... Who doesn't? <laughs> who doesn't? Uh, he said that off his own bat, but yeah, we agree, we agree. Well, Asaf, it's fantastic to have you here, and uh, all the best. Thank you. Hi, James, how are you? Let's come around and get some light because we've got that. So, uh, yeah, you're a newbie with us. You've been here a few days now over Christmas and it's going well for you. Yeah, um, it's, I found this place in particular. Manly's offers such a great place because my colours reflect the colours of the beach with the, the blues and the yellows in particular. Yeah, amazing colours. So you do an acrylic... Um, Dinnerware, or what's the what do you have? Oh, well, how do you right. describe it? Tell yeah, us all about I would it. I say it's home decor, so primarily they're meant to look excellent. They're meant to add, you know, a bit of color and flavor to the house. But they can also be used as fruit bowls, salad dishes, jewelry bowls, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah right. And how long have you been doing this? Well, I've been a sculptor for many years, but. Recently, over the past year or so, I've applied my knowledge of sculpture and made homewares. Right, okay. Yeah. And what, what got you into this? Ah, uh, well, it's a good question. I was inspired by a ceramic artist to make these bowls and plates and vases. And I've got no idea about ceramics, but I know a lot about acrylic, so... Right, yeah. We haven't had uh, anyone sort of doing this style of uh, product before and um, it's no wonder you've had instant success here at Thank the markets <laughs> and because of the time of year you're running low on stock <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so uh, I'm quite impressed that you've turned up with minimal stock <laughs> yeah. but um, yeah you're uh, really creating a space for yourself here which is good yeah. to see you always like a new store that comes along and does well and um, no wonder I think uh, as we talked about uh, fashion and everything is really embracing bright colors at the moment so it filters yeah. through and uh, yeah and you can adjust your colors to whatever's Absolutely. happening yeah. can't you it's you know autumn or spring the colors change yeah right people's tastes change they want warmth they want reds you know oranges yeah definitely definitely all right James well thanks a lot for coming we like having you here and all the best G'day Igor, how are you? Hi Mark, good. Yeah, welcome to Manly Markets. I think this is your second time with us, second isn't it? Time, yeah. yeah. And um, tell us all about your medallions. Well, I designed 45 different uh, medallions. Like each one represent uh, different countries. Right. And uh, as you can see, they have uh, various landmarks from different cities. So you can recognize, I think this one is uh, Royal Exhibition Building in Melbourne. So here also in Melbourne so it represents each of the major cities in Australia and it's nice as a gift it's nice as a memory of the travel representation of the country and uh, yeah just to remember something from your trip or yeah good idea we have a lot of tourists here when did you get started with this well I think it's around three or four years uh, for it, it took me for design and I just started pro producing the Australian uh, medallion. Right. So, and then once we get some tension, and uh, we will extend it to the whole collection. Right. Where the idea come from? I was traveling a lot, visited many countries around the world, and each time I was thinking, what can I bring home? Something small which can be packed in my pocket. Right. And uh, well, I was collecting some of the magnets, but there were like different countries, different things, and I wanted something more standard which I could uh, collect as a like put it on my shelf and uh, collect it. 
And also I visited a number of numismatic uh, conferences, exhibitions, and I saw people like coins. And I was like, why not to combine this idea of magnet into something like small and standard for the whole collection. So it's like medallion and this idea came uh, to me. And I saw some of the similar things in Europe when I traveled. Uh, some people were like selling it in uh, vending machines. Uh, but uh, the uh, details on these uh, coins, like uh, souvenir coins, is not that great. So, and I put my effort to learn all this me medallion production, all the uh, steps required from the photography to vectorization and then like 3D modeling, sculpting and production. So I was selecting, uh, playing with different metals and uh, that uh, came as a result. So wow. it's, it's made from bronze with antique effect. So it's nice uh, when you hold it uh, on the sun and it's like shiny and it's nice in the shelf at home or as a gift. Yeah, oh, they look fantastic, and your display is really good. Must say, you've done a good job there. Thank you. Just nice and compact, but uh, everything's there, and um, we love the sign. We always love the sign. So, yeah, thanks a lot, Igor. Good to chat to you. Thank you, Mark. Wow, we we've just had every day uh, sunshine, and the place is pumping. I mean, look at look at this. It's just crowds everywhere. So good to see all stallholders are happy. Uh, thanks to all the fill-in stallholders who were able to come and trade with us with uh, some of our regulars taking time off. Um, yeah, here we are, 2023. Thank you, so good. Summer is back the way it used to be. The crowds are back. The Manly's pumping again. What a great place it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Josh, sum up the festive season, all the trading. Haven't we done? We've done uh, absolutely unbelievable. Five, eight, unbelievable. eight days. How's oh, it's it been? It's been insane. It's just like uh, pre-COVID, back to the good old days. Um, the weather's been insane. Um, the mu there's been music every day. It's just like a dream, really. Um, You're ready I'll for wake a up tomorrow, but yeah, all my body's kind of a bit out of shape because I've just been going off the rig up. But yeah, so stoked. Yeah, Manly's back. <laughs>